Yes, students. Now it is the time to discuss the GATE 2022 solutions, digital logic subjects, CSID branch. Now myself is Jnaneshwar. Now we will look first question here. Now observe this question. Yes. <coughs> this question related to the okay, overflow related. Now examiner is given R1 and R2 to inputs. Let us okay condition to check the overflow. Out of this four option, which option is providing the okay overflow? Which option is giving overflow? Now here, dear students, there are three methods here to check the overflow. One by one, we will check it. In. Okay, first one here, method one. For n bit number, condition to detect overflow is cn minus 1, cn exclusive r equal to 1, xr equal to 1 for n bit number. But dear students, here observe uh, what is the question is given here? How many bits are given here? n bit, n equal to 4 bit is given for 4 bit number. So, what is the condition to occur the overflow here? Now, okay, for 4 bit number, dear students. Now for 4 bit number, for 4 bit number, same condition to occur the detect the overflow equal to now 4 minus 1 C3 XR C4 equal to 1 dear students. Okay, exclusive or this two value should be 1. When XR equal to 1 per 2 inputs, both should be different here. Both should be different. Now we will observe one by one in the options verification in the options here. R1, okay, okay, this is option A, option B. First, we will observe what is R1 equal to. Dear students, here R1 equal to, now R1 equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, dear students. Next, similarly, R2 equal to, R2 equal to, now, okay, now 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, nice. Now, we will observe, we will observe the R1 plus R2, whether overflow occurred or not. Now, dear friends, what is the condition already just now? Okay, I given C3 XR C4 equal to 1. Now, here I am writing 1 plus 0, 1 dear. Now, 1 plus 0, 1 dear. Yes. Now, 1 plus 0, 1. Next, 1 plus 1, 0. Carry over here. Now, 1 plus 1, 0. Carry over here. Now, dear. Okay, dear. 1 plus 1, 0. Carry over here. Now, 0 plus 1, 1 dear. Now, my dear students, here observe. What is the C3 equal to? Here observe. This is a 0. This is a C0. This is a C0. Starting is C0. This is a C1 dear. Nothing is there means 0. This is a C1. This is a C2. This is a C3 dear. So, we need only C3 here. We need only C3. Uh, C3. This is a C2. Here C4. Now, dear students, tell me. C3, C4 both are equal. XR. What is the C3, XR, C4 equal to? C3 XR C4 equal to dear students come on tell me 1 XR 1 1 XR 1 equal to 0 but what is the answer should get for to detect the overflow to get the to detect the overflow C3 XR C4 should be 1 C3 XR C4 should be 1 ok here both are equal means answer 0 not equal to 1 hence there is no overflow whenever we get the 1 then overflow occurred here the answer is no overflow here. Okay, no overflow dear, no overflow. Now coming to the, we will check the option B here. Option B is not a overflow. So similarly, we will check the option B dear students. Option B will check it. Okay, option B, we will check the option B here. Now, okay, nicely we will check the option B. Hello dear, what is R1 equal to? R1 equal to what? Come on. Now 1, 1, 0, 0 dear. Now R2 equal to what dear students? Come on. Now 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, nice. Now we will, uh, okay, for to check the overflow here, to check the overflow here, observe the condition to detect the overflow here. Now 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus, okay, 1, 1. Now, dear students, 1 plus 1, how much come on, tell me 0, here carry. Hello, here C0, no, 0, 0, 0. Here C3, what is C3 dear? This is nothing but nothing is there means 0. This is C3, this end carry C4. Both are different here. Both are different means what? C3 XR C4. C3 C XR C4 equal to 1. C3 exclusive R C4 is 1 means 100% overflow occurred here. Here overflow occurred. Overflow occurred. Overflow occurred here. Okay, overflow occurred. Examiner is asking which of the following sets R1 plus R2 is overflow occurred. Obviously, option B is occurring. So, go back to the options. I think no need to check remaining options here. So, 
arithmetic overflow here arithmetic overflow which of the following is giving arithmetic overflow means arithmetic overflow is occurred only in the option b i think no need to check the remaining option here option b similarly you can check the c uh, c comma d also similarly okay dear okay this is the first method method 1 condition to detect overflow is this is a condition <coughs> okay we got the option b dear similarly check the option c now using sign reversal dear using sign reversal this is a sign reversal for n bit number uh, a b bit is complement means that is a zero means sn minus 1 should be 1 if both are a b bits are 1 means so this should be zero some bits so this by using this one also we can check the kind of okay, overflow once again go back here same in the first method only no need to take the separately here now i am not say taking separately now dear students here observe i am using different color here okay uh, now here this is a a number okay first number this one this one same and some bits should be different but here okay this two addition a comma b values are same and some bit also same so we can say that no overflow but coming to this one these two are same last msb should be both are same that is okay some bit should be different these two should be equal that e should be opposite to this one sign reversal here observe one 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 three are same only three are same only three are same means we can say that no overflow here no overflow where about these two sets are equal okay equal and that is opposite sign of opposite opposite means now both are 1 1 this is 0 means we can say sign okay overflow occurred or both are 0 0 if it is 1 means we can say that overflow occurred wow nice super yes that is a by using sign reversal method okay this is a okay this is a sign reversal method yes one more simple method here one more simple method for n bit number dear for n bit number in sign 2 common arithmetic if the result exceeds if the result exceeds this one minus 2 power n minus 1 if the result exceeds this range then we can say that overflow occurred now what is the in our question here this is n bit number here in the place of n bit number what is the exam that is given n equal to here n equal to 4 bit for n equal to 4 bit what is the range should be what is the range in the place of n command substitute minus 2 power 4 minus 1 to plus 2 power 4 minus 1 minus 1 dear okay nice so 4 minus 1 means 3 this is nothing but minus 8 2 2 4 minus 1 okay 8 minus 1 7 plus 7 if the range exceeds this range okay if the range exceeds within this number within this limit then we can say that overflow occurred within this limit means no overflow now we will check it whether given numbers are within the range or not now we will observe yes r1 hello dear friends here r1 i am writing once again r1 i am writing dear r1 i am writing now r1 is R1 now 1 0 1 1 dear hello dear in the two's complement in the question paper clearly given two's complement two's complement means this is a okay uh, MSB should be always negative number MSB should be negative number so this is what command tell me this is a 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 but MSB bit should be negative okay MSB 1 means negative number so last MSB should be minus we have to place if it is 0 means di directly positive but msb is 1 in the 2's column means minus here now tell me minus 2 power 8 okay minus 8 this is a minus 8 dear plus 0 leave it plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 so dear r1 equal to how much dear r1 equal to 5 r1 equal to 5 dear r1 equal to 5 now similarly i am writing the r2 here r2 okay we will move to the r2 also now tell me r2 equal to come on yes r2 equal to what is r2 equal to here r2 equal to dear students r2 equal to 1 1 1 0 dear so we know in the two's complement arithmetic this is a 2 power 0 dear 2 power 1 2 power 2 now msb is 1 means minus 2 power 3 now once again tell me 2 power minus 2 power 3 product of 1 minus 8 plus 2 power 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2 so what is the number dear come on tell me minus 8 plus 6 how much command tell me minus 2 correct na? this is a minus 5 this is a minus 2 dear here minus 8 plus 3 this is a minus 5 dear this is a minus 5 okay this is a minus 5 now tell me dear r1 plus r2 is what r1 plus r2 is what dear r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 dear minus 5 minus 2 minus 7 minus 7 means this minus 7 is within the range of minus 8 to plus 7 or not now observe it is a within the range of minus 8 to plus 7 it is a within the range means within the range means what 
here no overflow we can say that it is a no overflow yes dear we can write the no overflow here no overflow why because that is a within the range of minus 8 to plus 7 otherwise i'll write okay in the range of in the range of in the range minus 8 to plus 7 so no problem so this is a no overflow here no overflow similarly you can check the remaining also similar okay no overflow now check the remaining here okay what i am checking here now r1 here r1 tell me r1 equal to r1 equal to what sir come on tell me 10 double 1 0 0 dear okay now tell me this is a 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 msb bit is 1 means negative numbers so minus 2 power 3 dear so what is the answer command tell me minus 8 plus 4 okay how much will get command tell me minus 4 dear minus 4 so similarly r2 command tell me r2 equal to yes dear students r2 equal to r2 equal to what sir command 10 10 very good r2 equal to 10 10 now here 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 minus <coughs> so dear tell me uh, what is the number here minus this is a minus <coughs> 8 plus 0 plus 2 so r2 will get r2 equal to how much dear command tell me minus 6 now tell me r1 plus r2 equal to r1 plus r2 here minus 4 plus minus 6 how much command tell minus 10 but minus 10 is not in the range of minus 8 to plus 7 it is not in the range of it is not in the range of not in the range of it is not in the range of minus 8 to plus 7 not in the range of minus 8 to plus 7 ends ends now ends we can say that overflow occurred ends overflow occurred here ends overflow occurred no overflow means yes examiner is asking okay which option is getting overflow so obviously by verification by verification we are getting option b itself so we can select the option b here option b here no overflow here overflow why because minus 8 plus 2 okay minus 2 minus 5 minus 7 but minus 7 is within the range within the range means no overflow here minus 10 not in the within the range hence overflow occurred like similarly we can check the option c option d so here in the given option here in the given option yes dear in the given option what is the answer option yes option okay b is perfect answer Yes, dear students, now we will discuss one more question in the digital. That is two marks question here. Now read the data here. Click. Okay. In this is given. Uh, what is the figure? Figure is given. Next page here. Uh, digital display system shown in the figure. That figure first will observe. That figure will observe. Okay. S address line is mapping to the P. R address line is mapping to the Q. So, dear students, now P, Q. We need to find the P, Q as well as t value in the option based upon the option p q and t value here first what is the p q value okay now here s is a s is a 1024 word segment s is a 1024 word segment so to represent this one minimum how many outputs are required 2 power 10 outputs are required decoders 2 power 10 outputs are required so but we know the decoder okay 2 power n here 2 power n n equal 10 so obviously okay this is a 10 2 power 10 decoder is required to represent the 1024 word so obviously obviously either observe here observe so p should be uh, s address line 1024 this is a 1024 to represent this one okay uniquely we require 10 thousand okay 10 now okay dear student uh, 10 2 power 10 decoder is required 2 power 10 decoder is required for R, R address line, first listen the R address line here, observe R, R, observe here. What is R here? R is a 32 word register. R is a 32 word register. Now dear here, here uh, what is a 32? Yes, 32. To represent this one, 2 power 5, no? 2 power 5. 2 power 5 means, yes, this Q uh, we can represent by using 5, 2 power 5, 5, 2 power 5 decoder, 5, 2 power 5 de decoder. Yes, dear. Now, is what is the clearly in the question paper is given either you can select this one s r r either you can select s r r either you can select s r r means obviously based upon the mode here based upon the mode so by using t we can select either s r r selection means always multiplexer here selection means always multiplexer but for this multiplexer there are two inputs here so obviously two cross one max is required so obviously two cross one max is required 
सोड हियर टी इक्वल टू क्रॉस वन इन दिस ऑप्शन ऑब्जर्व टी इज ए टू क्रॉस वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो बट हियर ऑप्शन बी टी इज ए टू क्रॉस वन एनकोडर सो रॉन्ग ऑप्शन ना ओके डियर नेक्स्ट टी इज ए टू क्रॉस वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर ओके आल आर इन दस ना पी इज ए टेन क्रॉस वन डी कोडर ओके टेन क्रॉस वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर रांग ऑप्शन सी ओके पी इज ए टेन क्रॉस टू फोर टेन एस ना क्यू इज ए फाइव टू फोर फाइव डी कोडर टी इज ए टू क्रॉस वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट आंसर ना ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट आंसर ये दिस आर द कंप्यूटर सैंस डिजिटल लाजिक क्वेश्चन गेट टू थौज ट्वेंटी टू